Each week, they fly hundreds of passengers from Niagara Falls down to destinations mainly in Florida. They've never had a fatal crash, but Allegiant Airlines has long been plagued with a bad reputation. The ultra-low-cost carrier, the subject of a scathing report on 60 Minutes last night, highlighting Allegiant's high incidence of breakdowns, delays, cancellations, and in-flight emergencies. A number of safety issues that some claim the FAA is not doing enough to correct. Seven Witness News I Team Chief Investigator Charlie Specht here with us tonight with more. Keith, last night 60 Minutes aired a stunning investigation of Allegiant Air, which showed that over the course of a 22 month period, the low cost carrier had more than 100 serious mechanical incidents. Now, keep in mind, this is an airline that flies hundreds of passengers each week in and out of Niagara Falls. For as low as $38, Allegiant offers service from Niagara Falls to three Florida destinations, Punta Gorda, St. Pete, and Daytona Beach. And the flights are extremely popular with Canadians. But 60 Minutes says its reporting shows while Allegiant is one of the cheapest airlines and may also be one of the most dangerous in the skies. The airline has just 99 planes, but 60 Minutes found it was three and a half times more likely to have a serious in-flight mechanical failure than other U.S. airlines. Among the dozens of serious incidents were engines blown out after takeoff and cabins filling with smoke. Meanwhile, pilots say they have been encouraged not to report problems with the planes so the company can keep them in the sky longer. Two years ago, 7 Eyewitness News spoke with Elysian passengers who were upset after their flight to Niagara Falls was diverted to Syracuse. With no help from the airline, they were left on their own to get back home. The airline today in a statement pushing back, blasting the story as outdated and misleading. But, however, they did not dispute the accuracy of anything in that 60 Minutes report. Now, we reached out to the NFTA, which runs Niagara Falls Airport, a spokeswoman there referring all questions to the airline. But she did say Allegiant flies from Niagara Falls nearly 500 times each year. In the studio, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Charlie. The